All new tonight and only on News for Jacks, a couple who beat COVID-19 says they were denied service at a garage. News for Jacks reporter Zach Lajewa introduces us to the battles nearly three weeks ago when Noah Battles Sr., a veteran, was discharged from U of Health in Gainesville. So tonight we have an update on his condition and the challenges the battles are facing as they try to return back to normalcy. Zach? Tarek, imagine fighting for your life, surviving COVID-19, only to be refused service. The battle say that's exactly what happened to them when they went to get their oil changed. Hey! 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 A veteran recently home from combat against COVID-19. Noah Battle Sr. was the first confirmed case of coronavirus in Clay County. He spent 47 days in the hospital was in an induced coma and underwent dialysis. I'm doing wonderful. Today, the battles say they are faced with new challenges. We decided to get the oil changed in the truck. Pat Battles says when she arrived at the shop, she was asked questions she did not know the answers to. So I put Noah on the speakerphone and he's asking Noah all these questions and Noah said, sir, I'm sorry, I don't know. I've been in the hospital for 47 days. When I came back into the store, the young man asked me, so your husband was in the hospital for 47 days? Yes. Was he in a car accident? No, he had the coronavirus. So are you guys clear now? Yes, we're both clear. We do not have the coronavirus. Noah says he later spoke with the manager. He said because my service technicians refused to get in the vehicle because you had the corona disease, that the virus stays in the vent of the air conditioner 30 to 60 days, and that he has to protect his employees as well as other customers. But his employees didn't have on any kind of protection or offered no protection to the customers. I called the shop. Hey, Gerald, Zach Lajway from Channel 4. How are you? The manager said he would get back to me. I also called Dr. Mohamed Reza, a local infectious disease doctor. You can find the virus, but it doesn't mean it's going to infect anyone. Of course, you want the people that are providing a service to be safe and use proper precautions and distance. But people should not be d denied or discriminated for, uh, you know, having the infection and having been properly tested and confirmed not to be shedding the virus anymore. Do you regret telling them you had COVID-19? No, I do not. He asked me a question. I'm not a liar. And I have nothing to hide. I'll proudly say we had COVID-19 and we survived it. Dr. Reza says the virus can live on porous surfaces up to 72 hours. Now, we did just hear back from the corporate office that owns that shop. They say in part, quote, while we cannot comment on the specific details of this customer's concern, safety protocols at all our retail locations remain in alignment with the latest guidance from the CDC. As for the battles, they say they did get their oil changed this morning. Live this evening, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.